Hi, I'm Diane Cometa, and today on Dishing with Di, I'm going to show you how to make a fruit tart. This is one of my most requested recipes, and it's really simple and delicious. So let me show you what you need, and we'll get started on Dishing with Di. You need some salt, some cream cheese that's been softened, some confectioners or icing sugar that has been sifted, some fresh lemon, vanilla extract, heavy cream, and some apricot preserves. You also need this. This is a shortbread crust. Now this is my shortbread crust recipe and I'll leave the link in the description box for you and attached to this video. So you bake this ahead of time and I like to put mine in the fridge and let it chill a little bit before I start putting my fruit tart together. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do with this shortbread crust is take some of that apricot preserves and I've actually heated it up and I strained it. So I put it through a fine mesh strainer so I don't get any big chunks of apricot in there. And then I'm going to take the preserves that are like slightly warm and with my pastry brush I'm just going to brush the fruit tart. And this is going to just seal it so that nothing uh, seeps in and it doesn't get soggy. You could use a different uh, flavor of preserves or you could use maybe jam or jelly if you want to. I like the apricot. Um, it doesn't really leave a color on there and it, it just looks nice and it tastes nice. So I'm just gonna seal this up. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm just gonna set this aside and I'm gonna reserve the little bit of apricot preserves that I have left because at the end, I'm gonna glaze all the fruit with that and that makes it look really shiny and beautiful. So just set that aside, make sure you have extra. So the first thing we're gonna do is make the cream filling and I have lots of fruit and I'll go over what fruits I use and how I arrange them at the end. So first we're gonna do the cream filling. Now I also use my pastry cream for this but that's a little bit more of a complicated recipe to put together but this is like my really simple easy fruit tart so you want to get a bowl and put your cream cheese in the bowl it's important that it's pretty soft because we're gonna whip this up and get it nice and smooth and creamy so the next thing you need is a hand mixer or a stand mixer you can do this by hand too if you want to but I prefer using a hand mixer I wish this one would die though so I can get a really pretty one so you pray for that for me please <laughs> okay so here I go Okay, that looks good. Just nice and creamy like that. And now I'm going to add in some of this sifted confectioner sugar. So just a little bit at a time. Just on low. You don't want it to all puff up out at you. So that's good. You want it nice and smooth. So you just keep beating it until there's no lumps. So just gradually add that sugar in. And now I'm going to add a little bit of heavy cream here. And just a little bit at a time. Just give it a nice creamy texture. Not too much. And this is all at room temperature. So you don't want to put something in that's cold to something that's warm. Alright, that's good. I just want to get that nice and smooth. And now a little pinch of salt and then I have my vanilla extract here and a little bit of lemon. Now I like the lemon in there. You can leave that out if you want to. So that's just a personal preference. I put it in sometimes and then sometimes I don't. So it just depends how I feel. So today I feel like putting it in. A little bit of vanilla extract or you can use vanilla essence or you can skip the vanilla too if you want to and a little squeeze of lemon, not too much. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator so it chills a little bit, and then we're gonna get on with the fruit. Okay, now I've started slicing my strawberries, and I just want you to see, you wanna to try to get strawberries that are about the same size, and then you're gonna clean them and cut the tops off and just clean them out a little bit. Okay, now when you cut your strawberry, you can see like it's wider this way and it's more narrow this way. Cut it along the widest part and just trim that little outside edge off so that it's flat now. And then cut it. And you want to try to make the pieces about the same size. Now I'm not going to throw any of these pieces away. I'll, I'll use those for something else like my cereal. 
but then here you go this is all you're going to do is just line them all up so just keep cutting them like that just trim that out and that helps it so that it lays nice and flat i also have some kiwi here now the kiwi you want to make sure when you purchase kiwi that they're kind of soft you don't want them to be mushy but you don't want them to feel like hard as baseballs because they're not going to be so sweet so i've already taken the peel off and i have a little video on how to do that it's very simple so these are the kiwi and we're going to do the same kind of thing with the kiwi you want to cut those about maybe um quarter inch thick and all about the same size. And additionally, I have blueberries, some pineapple, some blackberries, and some raspberries. I'm just gonna finish slicing these up and then we're gonna put it all together. I'm taking the chilled cream filling and I'm putting that onto my tart shell. It's so delicious. And I like to use a little offset spatula to help me kind of smooth it out, but you just smooth it out with your spatula or a spoon. Just try to get it as even as possible. Okay, that looks nice. First thing are the strawberries. So you wanna take them and put them around the edge of the fruit tart with the pointy part pointing outward. So I always go for my best looking strawberries first because there's always some that are you know nicer looking than others. And just go around the edge all the way around. Okay, and now they're all done. Just take blueberries and try to keep them about the same size and put those right in between there. You can make any design that you want to. I think I saw something like this on um, the cover of a book and I kind of went from that idea. So if you, you know, want to make something different, if you don't have the exact same fruit that I do, just do a Google search and look for fruit tart images and you will see literally thousands of fruit tarts that you can choose from to make different designs. So this is the one that I just, you know, go to again and again because it just looks nice and it's easy to make and I like all the fruit. So whatever's in season. I also make a really nice peach tart. So I'll show you that one when peaches are in season. Now next up are the blackberries. So just take those and, you know, just go around up against the strawberries just like that and try to get them so that, you know, they're kind of the same size. You don't want like a really little tiny one. All right, and now we're gonna put the kiwi down. Now, this is a little more tedious. You're just gonna kinda fan these around the edge. I get kinda anal with this. <laughs> so, you know, do it however you want, but I get like all into my design. <laughs> Okay, that looks good. This is, we're, we're almost done now. It's like looking really pretty. So that looks really nice, right? Then you're gonna take some of these raspberries and put those in the center, just like that. Okay, looks nice. A few more blueberries. Pretty, pretty. And then, I like to take some of the pineapple and just kind of put that around the edges. And that's it. I mean, look how pretty that looks. That'll fancy up any table. Right now, there's one more step though. This is where we make it really beautiful and shiny. So you get the rest of your apricot preserves and it should still be soft, you know, you don't want to put that back in the refrigerator. You want that like still room temperature. And now you're going to brush over everything and just be careful when you do it. So brush over each piece of fruit. Try not to drag it into the cream because then it'll just make a mess. So it can be a little tedious, but that's why with the fruit tart uh, shell, um, I'm sorry, the shortbread crust, you want to brush that first. So see, that's all nice and shiny. So now I'm just going to go around and brush every little piece of fruit and I will show you my masterpiece when I'm done. Ta-da! Look at that. Is that gorgeous? 
that not only makes it look shiny and beautiful, but it also seals uh, the fruit and it stops it from drying out. Now, the one thing I want to show you is that when I did the pineapples, the raspberry was uh, like kind of leaking onto my brush and it got them a little messed up. So I yanked those out and I put new ones in and I brushed those with the apricot preserves first and then I shoved them under the raspberries so that wouldn't bleed onto them again. Now, this needs to be refrigerated, so make sure you do that. And I use usually try to cover it by putting some toothpicks in it. I'll put toothpicks all around just like that and then I'll put a piece of plastic wrap over top to kind of tent it. Or if you have, you know, a special kind of, uh, you know, covering, you can use that instead. The recipe is on my website, dishingwithdye.com, so don't forget to go over there and check that out and everything else. And I look forward to seeing you next time and I hope I made your life a little easier, more enjoyable, and delicious. Bye-bye now.